Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We celebrate the 32nd Sunday in the ordinary time and we have entered into the theme of the end times. And so the readings that we have for this Sunday expresses vigilance and preparation from the gospel. We are, be, we are given the, the parable of the ten virgins. Five were foolish and five were wise. The foolish virgins didn't take extra oil for their lamps. As the waiting goes on, their lamps were now running out because they have no more oil. Whereas the wise virgins took extra oil, more oil, and so that their lamps kept burning so that when the bridegroom arrived, they were ready to the wedding feast. What is wisdom? The first reading introduces us to wisdom. Wisdom is God himself. Wisdom is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom is virtue. It is a kind of understanding or an intelligence that goes beyond what we usually understand. Why say beyond? It is because it is the kind of understanding that sees the events or things in relation to my ultimate end, in regards to my relationship with God. And so, for example, going back to the gospel, the ten virgins were told to have their lamp or lamps keep burning. Now, in usual understanding, to have a burning lamp is to give light. Yes. But it is not just about light or giving light. It is also about the implication and the consequence of having a lighted lamp, a lighted torch, that you will be allowed to get into the wedding feast. And in the wedding feast, you will bring your light with you so that the wedding feast will have the light and the joy and the celebration. You see, there is the knowledge and the awareness of the ultimate end. Whereas in our usual and ordinary know-how of things, we, we think of the now. We think of what, it, what good it can give to the now. Whereas wisdom not only gives us the, the capacity to appreciate the good of the now, but it also connects us to the ultimate end. And so it is important as the first reading tells us, to seek wisdom in order that our life might always have the awareness of the eternal implications of our actions, of our events, of our um, decision making. The second reading emphasizes Jesus our Lord will come again. The bridegroom mentioned in the parable of the gospel will truly come again. Uh, St. Paul says, we who will be alive when the Lord will come will meet him uh, in the air. Yeah. What is important is Jesus is coming. Are you prepared? Are you vigilant? Vigilance and preparation therefore implies that our lamps, the good things in our life, the godliness of our existence, the righteousness in everything that we are. These are what refers to the light kept burning brightly, the torch, the lamps that must always shine. So two things I would like us to pay attention. First and foremost, never underestimate the Christian teaching of vigilance and preparation. Every day of our existence is 
for preparation for the end times. Every day of our existence, our making decisions, our actions, our thoughts, our words, our relationships are areas wherein we project that our heart is concerned for union with God. This will make our life trust the lamp keep burning brightly. Do not underestimate the implications and consequence of this Christian calling. Let the lamp be burning brightly all the time. Doing good is having extra oil to feed the light of the lamp. Doing bad, it is darkness. You do not feed your lamp. We are spending and wasting our oil and wasting our lamp. And so in the end, like the foolish virgins, when the time comes and the Lord will say, I do not know you. Do not underestimate this calling of preparation and vigilance. The second thing I would like us to pay attention and very controversial, the so-called entitlement, argument by entitlement. And this is what I mean. Many times people nowadays use this argument, Lord, you are good. And so even if I will not do good, you have to be good to me because you are good. Lord, you want me to be happy, so I have to be happy in everything that I can. And you are merciful and you are loving. So you, you would just have to love me and you would just have to be merciful to me, even if I am not doing good. However, in the gospel, we are being told that this kind of argument doesn't work and will not work in the end. The foolish virgins told the wise virgins, can you give us something, um, uh, some oil? Because our lamps are dying out. The wise virgin said, no, we cannot give you our oil. Now, the foolish virgins were not able to say, well, you are good virgins. If you are good, give us, uh, give us some oil so that we can also be with you. You know, you are very good. So uh, bear with us, you know. The argument by entitlement the mentality a principle of entitlement never because we have the lifetime given for our preparation we have the lifetime given in order that we reform our lives we have the lifetime given in order that we truly seek willingly the good the godly, the truthful, the righteous, the virtuous. We can never say, Lord, you are good. And so, in the end, if I die and I am really bad, uh, you, you should uh, let me enter. And the Lord said, I do not know you. We have to pay attention to this. So that is why it is good that during this time, we truly respond to the word of God and let our lives be a manifestation of our faith and love of God, not take for granted Him in our lives. This is 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. May we be able to let our lives be lived in a wise manner, like the wise virgins, keeping our lamps always lighted with good deeds and a life attuned to God. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe if you have not done so, and share this video to others. God bless.